Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay. So today I'm really excited because we're gonna film a video all about a realistic spring capsule wardrobe. Now, I really love the idea of a capsule wardrobe and it's definitely something that I would say I do and I don't stick to. So I do try to invest in a lot of basics in my wardrobe just because I find that they're so easy to mix and match and create outfits. And if you are a mum like me, you're tired. You don't have a lot of time. So you don't have a lot of energy or time in the morning when it comes to getting ready. So you want easy outfits that make you feel good, make you feel put together. Um, and I find that having a bit of a capsule wardrobe is a really good way to enable that. Now, this isn't all that I wear. These are the bare bones of my wardrobe, I would say. And I definitely feel like as spring, summer approaches, I want to have a little bit more fun with my outfit. So I want to inject some more color. These pieces though that I'm gonna be talking about today are all neutrals. There's a little bit of blue, there's a little bit of navy, that's about as wild as we're getting. And that is because, like I said, these are just the mixing and the matching. So you could definitely just wear these outfits and a lot of the time I do, but they're also outfits and pieces that you can mix and match color, print, uh, texture with. So I feel like they're really, really versatile. Now, the reason why I wanted to make a realistic spring capsule wardrobe is because whenever I watch spring or any kind of seasonal capsule wardrobe videos, to me, they're just not realistic. I'm very much in my mum era right now. I work for myself, I work from home. So I don't need a lot of smart things. I'm more about practicality, comfort. Um, I don't go out a huge amount. Um, I have a hair in my lip. Um, so yeah, so I don't really need like night out outfits. So I wanted to create um, a capsule wardrobe that I feel like is realistic. So it's for my fellow mums, but this could also be for just your weekends, your days off, day to day. Um, I just wanted to create a realistic kind of everyday capsule wardrobe that you can just go in and get and you'll feel good about yourself. So yeah, so I hope this helps. I feel like I've just waffled on, um, but I'm really pleased with these things. And these are all the things that I wear the majority of the time anyways. So I feel like it's quite a realistic um, outfit that I'm wearing and I'm looking forward to wearing. Now, what I have done is I've added a couple of weather appropriate items just because I know we're in March. Spring is very, very, uh, like very around the corner, but it's still absolutely freezing. This morning I woke up, there was a frost on the ground. So I'm not gonna be rocking out in just my trench coat yet. So there's a couple of coats, a few more layers. And obviously the beauty of this is you can take some inspiration from this. You've probably got most of these things in your wardrobe already. And then you can add pieces in, you can take pieces out, like adapt it to you. Like this is absolutely not gospel. Um, this is just things that I wear and I think it's very easily adapted. Um, so I'll talk about that more as we go along. So let's get into it, let's show you. So I'm gonna start off with tops. So the tops that we are going to be including, I have got this striped long sleeve top from Zara. It's a couple of years old, but you can find a striped top pretty much anywhere on the high street. Then we have got a black t-shirt. This is from Next. Really, really rate these t-shirts. They're called the heavyweight cotton t-shirts. I'll link everything down below. And we've got a white t-shirt. It's not a spring capsule wardrobe without a white t-shirt. This one is from Cos. I do also have the white one from Next, but I can't find it. So we'll have to go for the Cos. This is also a very nice t-shirt. It's called the clean cut t-shirt and it's a bit more cropped. It's great if you're petite and you have a short torso like myself. And then because like I said, the weather is still a bit iffy, we're gonna have a few layering pieces. So I've just thrown in a long sleeve white top. I would also recommend having a long sleeve black top as well. Next, let's talk about bottoms. So as much as I don't want to be relying on leggings, realistically, leggings are a core part of my wardrobe. So yeah, we're gonna add in leggings because I'm gonna show you that even though we're gonna have a leggings and hoodie in here, I'm gonna show you how you can still style it up and make it look nice. Then we've got some blue jeans. Um, I've got a couple of pairs of blue jeans that I'd have for my spring wardrobe. So these are from Pretty Little Thing. They're like a wide leg and then they have a split. They're in petite and I just think they look really lovely. I also love these ones. These are from Zara and they're like a cropped straight leg. I got these last year and I think they're just such a nice spring summer jean. And then weather appropriate, we're going for some leather trousers. 
just because these are really nice and snuggly. They've kind of got like a fleece lining. Mine are from Marks and Spencers, but the Abercrombie vegan pants, um, I'll pop them down below, are incredibly similar and a similar kind of vibe. And just what I love about a leather trouser is it's so warm, but it's still really stylish. I feel like they're a lot warmer than jeans. So if it is a very cold day, you can mix and match this with some of the pieces and it still gives you spring vibes, but you're still gonna be nice and warm. And then obviously when the spring weather arrives and it's warmer, I would take them out. Then we've got a black pair of jeans. So I was torn whether to feature my Stradivarius Slim Mom jeans or these ones, but I'm gonna go for these ones that are a little bit different. These are from Zara and they are a mini crop flare. I just thought they were a slightly different style, so I thought that they would be fun to style with a few different items and see if we can make them work. And then you may be thinking, this is a bit rogue for a mum everyday capsule wardrobe. I love a pair of white jeans in the spring. And I feel like I have found my dream pair of white jeans. They're from Zara, but I got them from Vinted. And I am just absolutely excited to wear these this year. Now, don't get me wrong. These are not what I'm gonna be wearing to soft play or the park or taking my little gun on a walk or going to the farm. Like, obviously, I'm not gonna be wearing that to these, but I do do other things. So if I was going for like a coffee or brunch with my friends, even if I was going to like a friend's house for a play day or just a catch up, um, if I was going like shopping or a day out, do you know what I mean? So I think it's none, all of these outfits serve different purposes and they're for different occasions. Like I'm not saying that every single one of these outfits you can wear for like um, messy play. Do you know what I mean? Or the nursery run or the school run. These are just obviously for all different occasions. And I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna add some white jeans because I feel like I've lived my life for the past few years being like, oh no, a mum can't wear that or a mum shouldn't wear that. But, and I was really deliberating whether to put in the white jeans. I thought people are gonna be like, oh, they're not toddler friendly. But here's the thing, we have washing machines. That's why washing machines were invented. And I mean, I'm, I know that I'm very lucky, but my toddler hates mess and she hates having things on her hands. I think I'm more of a liability when it comes to mess than my toddler. And I know that's not the case with like all toddlers, but that's definitely the case with my toddler. So for me personally, white jeans are an accessible option. So yeah, thanks for coming to my TED talk, my little rant about white jeans there. So now we're gonna talk about knitwear. So we've got this beautiful Arquette jumper. This is the Alpaca Blend jumper. So yes, we've basically got a neutral jumper. I just wanted to have something that's gonna mix with lots of different things. Because like I said, the weather is still really cold, so we need the knitwear and the layers. Um, I'm on the fence about this. I don't know whether to include this or not. Then again, I've just gone for a cream jumper, just a super, super versatile. And then I've got a navy jumper. Now I have gone for jumpers, and like I said, I'll, I'll show you it. I'm on the fence about this jumper cardigan that's from Pretty Lavish. So you can wear it as a cardigan or a jumper. I'll show you it. Um, I've mainly gone for jumpers rather than cardigans just because I find that I wear jumpers more and I find them more versatile and easy to wear than a cardigan. But obviously, if you prefer a cardigan, then go for a cardigan. The main thing I think is like the colors, so the neutral colors. But yeah, I'm gonna include this anyways because it is super cute and it will go with a lot of the items in that I've picked already and I think it will look lovely. Um, but I was just a bit like, oh, do I, don't I? But yeah, anyways. And then, I have included a hoodie. Like I said, my mum wardrobe needs a hoodie and leggings outfit. And I've gone for this gray one from Adenola because I feel like it's quite spring-like. It's nice and light. And yeah, like I said, I'm gonna show you it styled up and I feel like it looks quite nice for spring. Okay, let's talk about jackets and coats. So whilst the weather is still freezing, I wanted a nice big coat but I wanted one that felt spring-like. So to me, this is my pretty little thin coat. I don't think they sell this anymore, which is really annoying, but I'll link it down below. You might be able to find it on somewhere like Vinted. Otherwise, you're just a light colored camel beige coat does the job. Then we've got a faux leather biker jacket because I love my biker jacket and I'm absolutely always buzzing to be wearing it when it's warm enough too. Then we've got this denim shirt jacket. So this is a really nice layering piece. 
Um, so yeah, so this is great. I'm gonna show you in a few different outfits. You can wear it on its own as a jacket if the weather gets a bit warmer, but you can also wear it underneath coats as well. Um, so I picked this up from Zara last year, but there's a lot on the high street. I've seen a couple of variations of this. Um, on like H&M at the moment, we'll have a look on Vinted. Of course, a spring staple, we've got the trench coat. Um, this is from Amazon. I will rave about this to anyone who will listen, just because I think it is an incredible buy and this is going into my third spring wearing this. And yeah, I just love trench coat season. So the last item, and again, I'm not sure whether I am going to include this or not, but I have just popped a blue striped shirt. Uh, this is from Zara, I picked it up off Vinted and I do feel like this is a really lovely piece for spring, but part of me is just wondering how versatile it is and if I'll be able to get it into my wardrobe. So I'm gonna try it on with a few outfits and we'll see what happens. But yeah, so that is everything. I, oh shoot, I've not done shoes. Okay, shoes. <laughs> So we've gone for comfort. Now, like I said, you can adapt this kind of, these choices to your wardrobe. Like I said, for me, these are my everyday mum outfits. So I've literally gone for flats because I don't really wear heels or, you know, heeled boots day to day. So I've got my black Converse, I've got my Adidas Sambas, and then a really nice spring shoe. I've got these clogs from Zara, um, which I'm absolutely buzzing to wear. Um, so yeah, so that's my shoe choice. And obviously, like I said, you can totally adapt this. Like I feel like I can, I've got heels obviously. And I feel like if I was doing something like a brunch or I needed to go, for, you know, or if it was date night or a meal out and I need to dress things up, I could add some heels or heel boots of these outfits really easily. So yes, okay, so let's try these outfits on. And I'm gonna show you how versatile these pieces are and just how many outfits we can create. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get started.